CataractCoach.com. Do this to improve your horizontal FACO chop technique. We have a video from an anonymous registrar who's doing training in the United Kingdom. So sitting superiorly, rex has been done. Here's the nucleus, FACO probes in the eye. And let's watch what happens. So coming in with the chopper, going for the chop technique here. Chopper's being embedded into the nucleus. And the chop is attempted. And it's reasonable. But what wasn't great about this? And the answer is the holding power of the nucleus. The FACO probe did not hold the nucleus, and so the chop did not fully propagate. So now trying to bring up a half, it's going to be difficult because it's not fully separated from the other half. So as you buzz in with the probe and try to get vacuum to bring it up, you're just not succeeding. These two halves now will try to separate them a little bit more. But the issue is the beginning of the case, the FACO probe did not achieve occlusion or holding power of the nucleus. When I go in the FACO probe here for this chop technique, I would go in beveled down in order to get immediate and complete occlusion. Remember, this is a peristaltic FACO pump. And to get the high vacuum, and that means good strong holding power, we need to have occlusion of the FACO tip. That, so energy or vacuum level, can build up. And so here in this small piece, you have a nice buildup of the vacuum, good holding power. The piece can be brought up towards the FACO tip. But the problem, if you watch the video again, at the very beginning, the first chop was done with the FACO tip not occluded. As a result, there wasn't a strong hold or purchase on the nucleus. And when the surgeon went for the chop, it wasn't a complete chop and the two halves didn't fully separate the crack or the chop between the two pieces didn't propagate all the way through. So what I'd change here is, at the very beginning of the case, make sure you occlude the FACO tip with the nucleus, achieve a high vacuum level. That'll hold the nucleus firmly. Now you can do a chop and then really fully separate the two halves. You'll find by holding the nucleus still, it's a lot easier to chop it you'll get a more complete chop and an easy separation of the two halves as that chop propagates through the nucleus. Think of it this way, like cutting a piece of meat with your knife and fork. If you hold it still with the fork very firmly so it can't move, then it's easy enough to cut it. But if you're not holding it with the fork and it's moving around your plate, it becomes very difficult to really separate it and cut it into smaller pieces. So same thing applies here. Cortex removal looked pretty straightforward. That looks great. The nice looking capsular rex is here. I like that as well. Filling up the capsular bag with viscoelastic. The rest of the case is going to proceed pretty normally. So I like the video. I'm thankful for the submission. I think there's a lot to learn here. This resident or registrar is doing a really good job. And then my suggestion for improvement will make this an even better technique. The end of the case, here's the eye well going in the capsule bag. Pretty nice technique there. Let's have this thing unfold and make sure it goes completely within the capsule bag. Important in your training, record on video every case you can and then study them later to figure out what was good, what could be better. Remember, the goal, especially in your training, is to get better from every single case. Every case should allow you to move and progress along that bell curve to get better and better. So by the end of your training, you're sufficiently good so you can go into practice and then really start learning. As I've told you before, you will learn more in your first couple years in practice than you did in the, all the years of your training that came before that. So again, thank you, Young Resin, for submitting the video. We'd love to get a video from you. You can submit your video as well. We do leave or, uh, have a lot of submissions, so please make sure it's a high-quality video and an interesting case. Check out cataractcoach.com. There's the link to submit the video. You can also sign up for our free email, and we'll send you a daily email with a good teaching point like this.